Hi students, this is Miss MG. I'm going to be telling you about your assignment, which is Web Quests, Ghettos, and the Final Solution. So this is going to be a pre-reading assignment, so you learn a little bit more about the Holocaust before we go into Reading Mouse 2. And so there's three parts. There's three articles. For the first part, you'll read this article, Ghettos, and then you'll answer these three questions and write your responses in the chart below. The second one is a read on another short article, The Final Solution, the same thing. There's a couple guided questions and then another question there and then you'll respond to those in the chart below. And then the same thing for the third part, which is you'll read the ar other article on Dr. Mengele and then you'll answer these questions and put your responses in the chart below. So let me tell you a little cool trick that you can do when you're uh, reading the article and then you have some of these questions that you need to answer and maybe you're a little um, concerned that the article is a little long. You can use the tool Read and Write which is another Google Chrome extension and you can have some of the articles read to you and then there's also the option to look at definitions for words or to even translate if you uh, would like that option. So the, for the first article, it's called Ghettos, and you'll be reading what one of the questions will be, what was the purpose of the ghettos? Why were they created? So that's a guided question. That's something you need to look for in that article. Then list three facts about the ghettos. What are three interesting or important facts? Basically three things you don't know that, you know, um, you haven't heard before while you're reading the short article, Ghettos. And then finally, the last question is, how would life be different if you were living in one of these ghettos? What current freedoms would you miss? So this last question is about you. If you were living in the ghettos, how would life be like for you? And then if you were living in the ghettos, what kind of freedoms um, would you not be able to have anymore? So that's a question to answer. So you want to open up the article. And if you're opening up the article and you're looking through it and you start reading it, um, let's say, um, you prefer audio recordings or listening to audio, you might want to pull up your uh, read and write extensions. You go to this puzzle piece in the corner of your screen where I'm pointing to, and you want to pull up, make the, make sure you have this extension, which is a purple puzzle, pub, purple puzzle piece with an R and W on it. And then you open that up, and then this bar will open up on the screen. So it's basically a toolbar. And then let's say you want to have the article read to you. You hit this play button. You might want to make sure you highlight the part that you want to be read to you so it doesn't read any other random things on the page that you don't want to be read. You can also just start with the title too. And then you hit the little play button. Origin of the term ghetto. The term ghetto originated from the name of the Jewish quarter in Venice. Okay. So maybe you want to pause the reading, you hit pause, and then you see how everything's grayed out? Let's say you're done with having that part read to you, you hit the stop button and then all the other options show up. So it just depends on which part of the article you want to be read to you. So when you go back to the assignment, you can think, remember, what was the purpose of the ghettos? Why were they created? So, you know, sometimes you can even, you know, Try to find that part in the article. So if you don't want to spend the whole time um, reading the article, I'm at least trying to get you to get some of the information so you're more familiar about the Holocaust before we go into reading Mouse 2. And then again, the other part is you want to find um, three interesting things or three things that sound important to you about the ghettos or maybe three things you don't know. And that will be for the second part, which is list three facts about the ghettos. And then finally, this question is about you. So if you've read most of that article, then you know kind of what the ghettos are like. So you can imagine what the ghettos would like be for you. Would you enjoy it? And then what kind of freedoms or restrictions would um, impact you that you couldn't have if you lived in the ghettos? So that's for the first part. The second part is the same thing. You're going to read a short article, The Final Solution. Then you're going to respond to the question that's below in the chart, which is, what was Auschwitz? Where was it located? So what is Auschwitz? And then the second one is list four important alarming facts about Auschwitz. 
and then find two photos from Auschwitz. That means you have to look up two photos and insert them there. So let's open this article and do the same thing. So Auschwitz. Again, maybe you want this read to you. So highlight it. Make sure you're going to have to probably pull up the extension every time because you're on a new article. Go to the puzzle piece, the gray one. Select the purple puzzle piece that has the R and W on it. Click on it. The bar will come up. Let's say you want that part read to it. Make sure you highlight it so it doesn't read all the random stuff on the page. Hit play. Auschwitz was the largest camp established by the Germans. Pause. It was a complex of camps, including a concentration and clear if the black box if you want the old to go away. Again, you want to answer what is Auschwitz, find four interesting or important or facts that you don't know about Auschwitz, and then you want to find photos. So let's say you want to get a photo of Auschwitz. Copy image, you right click on it, and then you'd go here, and then you would paste it in. And there's your one of your first images of Auschwitz. So undo. So again, this is for you to be familiar with the place that they're sending people who are Jewish. They're sending them to this place. Why is this? What is this place? So you've got to read the article to figure that out. And the last part is first read the short article on Dr. Mengele. So who was Dr. Mengele? What was his nickname? Describe a few of the cruel and unusual experiments he concluded. So that may be just like one Describe two or three things. Do you believe that people who are committing horrible crimes under direct orders are evil or merely being told what they're told to do? So again, this is a question I've asked you before, like, you know, if, if you're following orders, um, let's say, and you decide to not follow orders, is that a bad thing? But in this case, this question is, when you find out about Dr. Mengele after you read the article you want to answer, do you believe that people who are committing horrible crimes under direct orders are evil or merely doing what they're told to do? So I guess you just need to read the article to figure out who Dr. Melangeli is so you can really then answer that question with your own opinion. So the same thing, you want to open up this article and then you want to come down and let's say again you want to have this read to you. Okay, so make sure you go to the gray puzzle piece in the corner of the screen and then you go at, to the purple puzzle piece down here with R and W to open it up so then you can have it and then you highlight the part that you want to be read you hit the play button much debate is focused on Joseph you hit that if you want to pause it for a moment because maybe you came to a spot that was like okay this is this tells me who Dr. Mengele is, or this tells me one of the cruel um, experiments that he did. And then when you're done and you want everything else to come back, you hit stop. Also, let's talk a little bit more about what is a gas chamber? And so you have this bar up here and you want to know what a gas chamber is. There's the dictionary. Click on that. It tells you what gas is so and maybe you don't like this you know this doesn't really answer but it here's this, a substance that is either liquid nor we use gas to heat our house u.s english for patrol i need to fill a car with gas so maybe it's not really but you can see that this is also highlighted so it takes you to another page but see on this page um Maybe you want to know what Dr. Joseph Mengele looks like. And if your bar goes away, make sure you go back to the gray puzzle piece in the corner. You hit the purple puzzle piece with R and W, so then this bar comes up. Maybe you want to see more about, like, a, a picture of Joseph Mengele. Then you highlight that. You can go on this web search, which will take you to the Google. But then it's, you're basically web searching this person that you highlighted and then it'll take you and it'll tell you more about him but then if you go back to the page your bar's still there <laughs> so again 
you the, you can use the toolbar of read and write to help you. And then go back and make sure you answer. Who was Dr. Mengele? What was his nickname? That means a name that was given to him by other people that it's not his usual name. And then second part, describe a few of the cruel and unusual experiments he conducted. So maybe you need to look for that. What is a, a cruel or an unusual experiment? And finally, do you believe that people who are committing horrible um, crimes under direct orders are evil or merely doing what they're told to do? So this is a question I'm asking you based on your opinion. Do you think if people are following orders, but maybe let's say those orders are evil, are they just are they just doing what they're told to do or are they doing something that is really a crime even though they're being told to do it by someone in authority so when you're done with the assignment you can turn it in and that's all you need to do all right um have a nice weekend